Hey, he's the accountant, right? I'd really like to know. Can somebody tell me? Oh, it's quiet now. In the words of Tiffany here, it's quiet now. I can wait. I have nothing to get, say. Get the clue. Commentary. Burgundy. Burgundy. Commentary. Com commentary. Blue. Commentary. Comment. Burgundy. Blue. Commentary. Blue. Commentary. guys welcome back to burgundy blue commentary hope all is well with you and yours we're talking about village administrator keith freeman today this is tiffany Henyer, super mayor's right hand let's hear what's going on it seems like it's since Lori lightfoot in my opinion stepped in to help the trustees things are coming to light a senior administrator for both the village of dalton and thornton township has been charged in federal court with engaging in a bankruptcy fraud scheme. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Illinois said in a news release Tuesday, Keith Douglas Freeman, 45 of Orland Park, has been charged with bankruptcy fraud involving making false statements in his bankruptcy petition to conceal his assets and sources of income and a significant claim against him from creditors, the release said. The indictment returned Monday, the U.S. Attorney's Office said. The charge is punishable by a maximum sentence of five years in federal prison. An arraignment date has not yet been set. The officials noted that Freeman was indicted as part of an ongoing federal investigation. According to the indictment, Freeman chopped filed a Chapter 7 bankruptcy petition in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court in Chicago on January 3rd. The indictment alleges that Freeman made several false statements and omissions in the document, including knowingly underreporting income from his employment as both the village administrator for Dalton and the municipality manager for Thornton Township, as well as fees he received from his private consulting business. Freeman also allegedly concealed that the village of Robbins had filed a claim against him related to about $90,000 that he received in addition to his authorized salary while he was the village administrator for Robbins, a position he held from 2017 to 2021. Freeman also submitted an alleged copy of his 2022 individual income tax return, which represented that Freeman's total income from employment was $45,186. The indictment states that Freeman knew he had not filed an income tax return for that year and that his actual income, which included a $100,000 yearly salary for the Dalton position, alone was much more on january 30th while testifying under oath at a meeting of creditors freeman allegedly falsely represented that he was not an employee of dalton and that he did not receive payment from dalton the indictment states the following month freeman allegedly calls his pay from Dalton to be directly deposited into a recently opened bank account that he had not disclosed. Freeman is in charge of running the day-to-day -day in neighboring South Suburban communities. If he can't handle his own business, how in the world can he handle ours? Dalton resident Valeria Stubbs said. At the next board meeting, if he shows up, I'll ask him to step down again because he's an embarrassment to the community. Quote, a close ally of embattled mayor Tiffany Henyard, Freeman's role has been a constant source of confusion to some Dalton trustees. It was a lot of controversy on whether or not he was an employee or contracted. Now they're saying that he didn't list this information, so that's a problem, Dalton trustee Brittany Norwood said. They took it upon themselves in the administration to make changes where he was looked as if he was contractor. A spokesperson for the mayor's office said they are aware of the indictment. And as this is a quote, you guys, as this is an ongoing investigation, we will refrain from making any further comments at this time. You guys, Keith Freeman usually make those statements. So I wonder who did that. 
Longtime residents and frustrated leaders of Dalton say the federal fraud charge against Freeman is a relief. I hope this is the beginning of a new day for Dalton, not just for residents, but for businesses, said Dalton business owner Nicole Scott, who lives in Thornton Township. That's Miss Free indeed, you guys. That's Dr. Nicole Scott. We've been waiting for some justice to be served, Trustee Brittany Norwood said. Okay, this is a quote from ABC News. Okay, so you guys, first we had the Andrew Holmes situation. Now we have the Keith Freeman situation. It seems like the dominoes are falling. You guys, what do you think? Um, It was a lot of bad decisions made. A lot of bad decisions. I want to say that an indictment is not um guilt verdict guilty verdict but we don't know what's to happen which means i'm trying to ask you guys this this is what i want to ask what do you think is going to happen do you think that they're trying to use keith freeman to squeal on the rest of the administration would keith freeman take the fall or do you think they're directly just interested in keith freeman bankruptcy I'm going to say A, that he's going to squeal. Um, You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is quite interesting. At the end of the day, we always say over here, this is people lives. I don't wish this on anyone. You guys, make sure you take care of yourself and each other. And let me know your thoughts again. A, will he get to tell it? B, will he take the fall? Or C, Are they just interested in his bankruptcy? As always, take care of yourself and each other. Bye. Oh, it's quiet now. In the words of Tiffany Henry, it's quiet now.